Across the country this Father's Day weekend, lawmakers and protesters marched against the Trump administration's zero tolerance policy separating children, separating children at the border. The changes mean adults crossing illegally with their kids will be separated as the parents await their federal court proceedings. Julie Grant has a closer look at the growing backlash. Hey, hey, don't take those kids away. Keeping families together, a major focus this Father's Day, as a growing chorus of anger and frustration was on display in parts of the country. We spoke to fathers whose children have been ripped from their arms, who have no idea when or if they will see their children again. Congressional delegations and immigration advocates marched to facilities where the U.S. government is holding unaccompanied immigrant children. It comes days after Homeland Security confirmed it separated at least 2,000 children from parents at the border. That is no different from a United States citizen parent that is going through a judicial process, prosecuted for violating the law, and separated from his or her children as well. The White House says the goal is to deter illegal border crossings. Democrats want it to end. We are united in going back to Congress and fighting for it. Whether you're in tents, whether you're in a four-star hotel, if you're not with your mom and your dad, if you've been taken from them, um, you're, you're, you're traumatized. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced the zero tolerance policy last month. Sessions also announcing the DOJ was narrowing the grounds for granting asylum, declaring victims of gang and domestic violence do not qualify. Julie Grant, KDKA TV News.